Okay, next thing we need is uh, we need to give some size to the particles. The attribute used for that will be P scale. And as you can see, the particles don't inherently uh, have that P scale assigned to them. Uh, so we're gonna apply the P scale also based on the, um, the normalized age. So uh, the normalized age is that attribute that we're using here on this expression. It's not available outside though. Okay, so here we don't have the age, uh, but we can actually calculate it pretty uh, simply by creating an attribute called, let's say, age norm equals to f at age divided by f at float attribute life. Okay, again, not a bad idea to just make sure that we have this properly clamped between the range that we need, zero and one. Now that we have that, let's uh, create another point wrangle uh, to set size and let's just keep things separate. We could do everything uh, over there, but this way we have things uh, a bit separate. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna set the P scale to be equal to channel ramp call size ramp. It's gonna be reading the norm age or age norm. And it's gonna be multiplied by a maximum size that we're gonna set max size. Okay, so now we have our parameters, the maximum size, let's start with something pretty small, set size, and the way we're gonna be seeing this is by using a sprite, at least for now. Let's just uh, play with the sprite. We're not gonna use a sprite map for the smoke buff. We're gonna use the sphere, math.pick. These maps are available inside the pick folder, inside the Houdini folder, inside your installation folder. So, and here they are, sphere mat. So we do have a better idea of the size, I guess. Okay. So they're starting small and then getting bigger. We actually want it the other way around. So we want them to start big. Gonna change this to B spline. Something like this. Uh, oh, you decide. Could be perfectly linear, but I tend to kind of make it a bit more curvy. Okay, this way when they disappear, they're actually already very small. Okay, cool, I think this is probably still too big. Zero point zero two. Maybe that's okay, maybe they just go out pretty fast there. Okay, I think this is an interesting size variation. Of course you can go crazy, okay? You can kind of be creative with it. This also works gives you a bit more chaos. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna go with something more organized. More linear, I guess. Slightly curved, yep. And uh, so this is an option. If you actually want to see some light on this, um, the sprites are not gonna work all that well. We do have a light on the scene. If you remember this area light, which is pretty visible here, okay? 
but on the particles, not so much. And the reason for that is the sprites aren't actually uh, reading uh, the light source. So what we can do is actually create a sphere and copy this sphere to the points. There they are. Now we have spheres on the points and we should have some lighting in there, definitely. Okay, no light and actual lighting on the viewport. Okay, we have shadows and everything. Okay. Of course, it's pretty a pretty hard light. Maybe we can give it a try with uh, environment light. I'm going to load in uh, an HRI. Let me hide the artifact for a moment. Go to the camera. Yeah, it's not worth the uh, the resources. It just slows things down with with shadows, but kind of an interesting sparkly look. I'm gonna turn this one off and just keep this one more than enough. Um, what else? So we have this. We're setting the size. We have the normalized stage. This is gonna also gonna be interesting for uh, applying the shaders and all that. So at this point, I think we're ready to to go. Let's have a look with everything together. At this point, I think we're we're in a good spot to start thinking of uh, rendering things out. 